What's up, guys? So I'm shooting a quick one. As you can see, what I'm doing right here, knocking out that Equinox, pulling the, rip the motor out. Got it sitting on the ground here. Pretty much just shoot a quick one. We're gonna run around the shop. Just wanna show you guys a few things. I pretty much got the list on what it takes to do this, uh, this swap on these. So check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so as you can see, I got the bad motor out, got the Equinox sitting up in the air, everything went pretty smooth, I started to strip it down, got kind of parts scattered, got parts over there that I'm not going to be using that came off of this one, got the alternator and every compressor getting ready to go on the one on the, we're rebuilding, but I wanted to show you guys the difference in this cam. Um, got the new phasers in, all my parts are pretty much in, but I'm getting ready to pull this cam off, this intake cam here, and you can see I got the old one sitting on the floor here, but the difference is pretty much the pin, the keyway where they want you to time these. Like I was saying in the last video, you can see when you set these, they want it at the uh, 11 o'clock position, you can see the little notch there. And that matches up with the notch inside the phaser, right there. And on this one, it's actually 180. So this cam, this cam would be would be perfect here. Um, everything would be set, but when you time it, the the phaser wouldn't line up. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. It's going to go all the way over here. And I'll pull them off. I'll get a shot when I pull this cam out. We'll set them side by side. I'll show you guys the difference, but they are definitely different. The phaser's different. I mean, I guess if you, you know, if, if you notched it down here, um, it would work. It's just the, the phaser would 180. Your timing mark would go from here to over here. So they are different part numbers for sure. The other one, the knock sensor ended up being different. So I had to switch that over. This one does have a few other subtle changes. It looks like uh, someone done this chain in here at one time or another. Um, I don't really know the history of this motor other than she said it was done at a dealer at some point under warranty, probably when it was under 80,000 or 60,000 or whatever. Um, but this one's nasty. I mean, I thought, I thought the other motor was bad, but the amount of oil burning this one did. These uh, solenoid gotta get switched over. I'll be switching them over to the new motor, but I'm getting ready to uh, hook this thing and pull it out. I got the manifold off, most of my bolts off. I gotta disconnect the axle over there, the bracket, bell housing bolts, torque converter bolts, and that one's ready to rip. And then I got over here, the manifold's actually got a crack in it. So I'll be doing a repair on that. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. Just fix that up, it's fine. Reuse that. I got the tensioner sitting on the floor there, the pump. This one has the pump, the other one didn't, but getting ready to pull that cam here. That's what she's looking like. You guys see I've timed the balance shaft, boring stuff. Just want to make sure that, you know, your balance gear, the mark is facing down, facing up. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory on these. The cams are, uh, or the chain is, is marked, clearly marked with all your timing marks. But that one got that one timed up. Here's the new exhaust gear. Just got it sitting there. You definitely want to reuse the cam. Uh, you definitely don't want to reuse the cam bolts. So I got new cam bolts. I got the uh, valve cover all ready to go. Gasket on it. Here's all the parts, coils. I'm going to be using the purge, the high pressure fuel pump. This is all stuff going on the new motor. And then I got the new intake phaser here. That keyway again on the opposite side of it. You can see 
And then I got uh, the timing chain, tensioner, new spark plugs. Got the uh, cam bolts in this box. New cam bolts in there. You can see here. You definitely want to get new cam bolts. Do not reuse those. But obviously, you guys seen we reused all the. Uh, we didn't reuse any of the bolts. We got new uh, head bolts and all that stuff. So, but that's where we're at now. the notches down there on this one and for this one you see the notches down there and for this one to line up the same you can see the notches 180 so that's the difference there and the same goes for the for the phaser so this is the cam we're gonna need here setting works great. Just get these kind of cinched down, nothing crazy. Once I find the tent. guys so I'm gonna get you guys set up we're gonna go on and uh, tighten this primary chain I got pretty much everything set up 24 uh, millimeter wrench I got the uh, all the parts here we got the gears set everything in place I'm just gonna do a quick run through on this one we're gonna be timing a 2010 with the notches. So seven o'clock, five o'clock is where we're gonna end up. Just gonna quickly run through this one and uh, show you guys how I time these. Start off with the chain. Like I said guys, this primary chain has got colored links. So you know where to start off. We'll start off on this one. We're gonna grab our uh, and take phaser. Get that lined up with the timing notch. Drop the chain in. Get it around a little groove there on the head. Lined up with the dowel pin in there. There. Everything should start lining up. 
about the five o'clock position there. Red. I do cam bolt. Make sure it's brand new. Put this one sit down. Okay. Use a chromie on this one. Tighten it down, torque it in a minute. Get our exhaust here. This one you don't want to line up with the pin right away, but you'll want to put your mark on Q. If you guys are seeing that there, line that up. The crane should pretty much start to line up right away. We're going to get our uh, guide boss here. Slide this up into position. Before, before we put the exhaust gear on, we want to drop the uh, tensioner shoe guide in there. Not engaged yet with the cam. With the marks. Marks good. Got it coming from being in the way. And what you want to do is this one still isn't engaged. So I want to turn it so I find the pin there. Got it to engage there. Place it takes you some playing around there. Get that snugged up. Alright, double check all the marks here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the crank to get all the slack to the tensioner side. I got some slack on this side, and I want it to be on the other side. All right, so we picked up the slack on that. There we go. Got that. Grab our tensioner. Make sure it's still not engaged. I like to put a little oil on it. And you'll want to, it's notched. You want to make sure that sits perfectly with the notch on the, the shoe there. There's two millimeter, snug it down. All right. I like to double check one more time, make sure all my marks are good. I'll pull you guys in close to show you. So you can see, here's the intake, you can see the notch with the darker link, the exhaust, the notch with the darker link, and then here down here on the crank you see the little dot on the crank uh, gear with the darker link. All my slacks on the tensioner side, and we'll show you how to engage this tensioner. Just take a long screwdriver. There on the tensioner, not the chain, just the tensioner. Push it down to engage it. Like 
got it. And that's that. All right, guys. So I showed you all the timing marks. Finally got it all timed. Not getting ahead of myself, taking my time and shooting video. You know, just make sure you route that chain where it needs to be and, you know, don't uh, do a step before you're supposed to do a different step. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, tighten these cam bolts to uh, 22 foot pounds and then uh, 100 degrees and then tighten these, uh, the shoe, just retorque re everything, make sure it's good, 89 inch pounds and then the uh, cam, the guide boss to uh, 102, I believe, inch pounds. So wrap that all up, get that valve cover on. Tomorrow morning, come in, rip that uh, old motor off the, the frame there, get ready to switch everything over. So cool stuff, fun stuff. But as always, guys, you guys haven't checked out uh, Toolheads, great. You guys know the website, get over there, get your subscription. We're coming up uh, on the end where we can take subscriptions. You miss out on March, you won't be able to get in until April. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't to the channel. We'll catch you all in the next one. Signing out.